Hello everyone, I'm GarthMaster974 back again today doing yet another Valve source code tutorial. This time around I'm actually going to do something that I've had my mind on for quite a while now and it is concerning how to fix the fizz gun from the Half-Life 2 beta in your source mod. So without further ado let's get straight into what you would have to do to get this to work. Now the good news is the fizz gun code for the most part is actually included in your source code. So under your server side project, in my case server HL2 in your games um, visual studio project directory, um, you want to add fizzgun.cpp into the server HL2 code and you want to add C underscore weapon underscore gravity gun into the client side code so client hl2 in my case and the client side code is going to give an error so what i'm gonna tell you when i get to the client side code is how you can fix this error from happening but there's a couple of things we need to do in the server side code first in order to get the beam to draw correctly because if you fix up the client side code then what you'd what you'd see essentially is that the fizzgun beam doesn't draw properly but the functionality of the fizzgun's there so you can manipulate physics objects and weld stuff together and all that so the steps i'm going to outline might not necessarily fix this beam issue but you know it's worth um doing all of these just to be on the safe side so at around line 372 there's a definition for the world coordinate I guess it would be in grav controller point colon colon simulate and you just want to uncomment that definition so it actually has a definition for what world is in this case um, then you want to go down to about line 843 and add in a network state changed um, which I think is in effect update so basically that should at least be i would imagine the thing that you need to add for the beam to draw properly since the fizzgun code has both server and client code and it uses like networking to you know check parameters or whatever it is that it does i'm not an expert in this stuff so don't question me about that just add that and the one last thing in the server side code i would suggest would be to remove m underscore use down from around line 1216. I uh, don't know if that does anything necessarily, so I've commented it out in this case, but you know, you might not have to and you still get the intended effect. So that's the server side code for fizzgun.cpp. Under C underscore weapon underscore gravity gun dot cpp in the client side code. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is add a renderable to world transform in the C underscore beam quadratic class definition. And this is something that's needed for the client side code to work properly. So for instance, what I've done here is just to define a matrix 3x4 underscore T and just called it Z. It's just arbitrary. And then you just say const matrix 3x4 underscore t and renderable to our transform in bracket well, you know rounded brackets after that and then in curly brackets just say return z and that's good enough for the code that allows this to work essentially so you need that renderable to world transform bit in order for the client side code to compile compile properly otherwise it brings up an error um then in the C, C underscore beam quadratic constructor, which should be the C underscore beam quadratic colon colon C, under, C underscore beam quadratic bits of the code, you want to add a M underscore H render handle and set that to be equal to invalid underscore client underscore render underscore handle. And you want to add another M underscore H render handle equals invalid client render handle at around line 126 in one of the if definitions that's there i think it's the last one that i show in the video and the last thing which i said earlier about an error in the client side code it's this bit 
And all you want to do to fix this is add a C mat render context PTR, call it P render context and in brackets materials. And then you have to change materials to P render context in order for the bind command to work inside of the draw model function commands that we're in. So with all of these fixes that I've just outlined, if you compile the code, then you should be in a position to compile both the server and the client side code. And if it's built properly, then you can test it. Now there's something you need to know. It's going to try and find a script in your game files called weapon underscore fizzgun. And if you don't have it, then you're going to have problems. You're not going to be able to set a view model, a world model, for example, um, select where you want it to go in your hood. So in my case, I just copied the script file for missing information and probably edited it slightly just to change the uh, position in the hood that the fizz gun takes up. And you also want to have the model, uh, the, so the glue bob model and the uh, fizz gun model. I took that for missing information for the purposes of this video to show you what it was supposed to be like, at least in the beta. So... Otherwise, you just end up with error models because in the code it specifies, um, for instance, the um, glue blobs, it specifies that model. So you want to actually have that in your mod and the physical model as well, since that's the view model that's going to be used. Um, so that's what you'd want to do as well. Just make sure that is in the code somewhere in your game files, at least uh, your weapon underscore physical scripts. I took it for missing information, so you know that's just something to take in mind. Um, but in my case, it works pretty well, and it is the fizz gun as you would see in the Half Life 2 beta. Now, honestly, there's probably not much point to doing this. I mean, personally, I would see the fizz gun being used for stuff like welding puzzles to be able to cross a gap that you can't cross. But by welding barrels together, you can basically bridge a gap or use the fizz gun to get a crate that's up in a ledge somewhere that the gravity gun might not help you with. Um, but there's a couple of bugs, I would imagine. I would call them bugs uh, with this code. And one of them is what I like to call fizz surfing. So if you jump on top of a physics object and fire the fizz gun, then you get launched into the air and you know you just fly up into the air until you let go of the fire button and then you just fall to your death. Again, that's not something that you would want to do. That's a bug. You wouldn't want that to happen. And another thing is if you create a chain of welded props and one of them is breakable, for instance, an explosive barrel and you blow it up and then you try to pick up the uh, welded props again, then you get an assertion error because one of the models has been killed essentially and it's trying to find it when it doesn't exist so that would be something where there'd have to be an expert in this sort of coding stuff to really look at that code and go okay well this is what happens if one of the models is destroyed for instance but i wouldn't have the expertise to do something like that and the ammo is kind of um flawed as well so to speak in the, even in the code, they talk about like the ammo not being, uh, you know, worked on properly or officially at least. Because this was only a placeholder weapon to make way for the gravity gun, the fizz cannon. So, with all this being said, I know I've rambled on a bit at the end. But I hope this helps you at least get the fizz gun working in your mod. I know this is something I wanted to, you know, do for ages. And I've only just got around to doing this tutorial. I don't know what other tutorials I'm going to do at this point, so, and also, I'm not an expert in this field, so, again, don't really ask me about how or why this works, it just does. So, hopefully this helps, thank you for watching, take care, peace out, and see you later.